G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. We are here on Gorge to watch two Conqueror 3 players take on each other on the ranked ladder. I love Gorge. It's a good map. It's a fun map, except well, for one thing. You get no sheep. That's what I hate about this map, man. Every single time I play this map, I come up empty-handed. Hopefully, Faye and her opponent, Internet Angel, managed to find the sheep today. Let's introduce exactly what they're playing. On the south side, in the color purple, playing as the English, we got Faye Chan. She is back once again. And on the north side of the map, in the color orange for the first time, we've got our Aabid friend, the Internet Angel. I don't think we've ever cast an Internet Angel before, so if you're an Internet Angel fan after this game, uh, feel free to ask for more because uh, we can definitely check him out, see what he's got going or her out. They are technically an angel. And uh, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, if I don't remind you, you'll forget to do it. So make sure you do it. Thank you. Anyway, we... Oh, excuse me. A little bit of a burp. Uh, that was like a... On the scale of burps, that's like a C tier. Not e probably not even a C tier. It's like a D tier. Man, I tell you what, my, my newborn, you should hear some of his his burps. Like, you can tell. I don't even need a paternity test. No DNA test required. The the size of those burps, that, that is all the evidence I need. That is for sure. Those things go... They're, they're wild, man. When they, when they get, like, a real good feeding session in, and there's just... Burr, it's like a belch, dude. Anyway, we got the men at arms beginning to come out. Sorry for the... the uh, do you call it, do you, is that toilet talk? We call that toilet talk yeah. in Australia. Sorry for the toilet talk. Uh, men at arms coming in. Have a look at this. Internet angel yet to gather up enough resources to click that age up. Probably going to send out a couple more villagers. Otherwise, the alternative is to go up here, do a little bit of gathering. The, alter the other alternative, you know, if, if you are a guy who likes alternatives and lots of them, uh, is you can just fast age up. Is he just going to click the fast age up? I reckon he probably will, right? Like, that, that just makes sense, right? Yeah, I, I just click fast age up. Or I just bring 700 villagers out to gather the gold. How how are you gonna how are you gonna deal with that? How are you gonna do, how are you gonna deal with that? Look at them all going idle, just chilling out. He brought the one out that was already on low health, and look at the scout just messing around with the uh, with the with the uh, pathing. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. You really do. Man at arms does manage to come back through. We'll find that villager. He's gonna pull it back, so knows exactly what he's doing, and we'll gather enough resources to age up. He's got eight on that villager, so surely there's enough in there. There's like, oh, I saw a one, a ten. Okay, cool. All right, he got everything he needed. He'll be able to age up now. But I tell you what, that is why you go for a Men at Arms opening. You know, one of the things that I often do whenever I'm coaching over on my Patreon, which if you'd like to check out, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to improve. Lots of coaching content over there. But one of the things I talk about is when it comes to Age of Empires, what you want to be doing is think of like two players, they're both standing on a tightrope. And you want to be pushing the other guy off balance. And the sooner you can do that, the better it is for you. And that's exactly what Faye has done right now. She's pushed her opponent off balance. Because in his head, he was like, all right, things are going to be fine. Faye's playing the English. I'm playing the Aabits. So this is how it's going to work. I'm just going to go for a fast castle. I might go into like the... I was going to say into the military wing, but I did not expect this. Excuse me? Master Smiths? Constructs the military wing. The blacksmith's damage and armor technologies become free and complete automatically when entering an age. Okay. I don't think I've seen this before. I remember back in the day when the Aubids first came out and Kanoki and I were talking about them and he's like, you know what, Drongo? I reckon that the military wing mastersmith is the best. And I'm like, why? And he's like, because it just gives you so much value. And I'm like, what do you mean value, Kanoki? How do you quantify value? And he's like, well, objectively, it gives you the most value. And it's like, yeah, but if I'm going for like archers, I don't need plus one melee attack. He's like, that's a good point, but still, it gives you insane value. And it looks like Internet Angel may have figured that out. We've got a new Aubid, Aubid rather, wing in town. And I tell you what, it's going to be up against a good challenge today. The English of Faye, of course, she is notorious for playing a little bit weird civilizations. And I think at the moment, the English are probably in that category of weird civilization. I know it's a, it's a new starter civilization. It's easy to use, but feels a bit weird playing the English. I don't really know where they sit at the moment when it comes to, like, what their game plan is, especially if you're up against a fast castle like this. So doing what Faye did, going for this early men at arms, is just such a smart move, I think. Putting your opponent off balance from the get-go, just being annoying. Age up comes through. Look at that. Both of them within seconds of each other. Four minutes and 41. Write that one down, Larry. And we've got a stable coming down immediately. Uh, expect to see some good upgrades coming through immediately. Now, I'm pretty sure that, that'll just be straight through. For some reason, it's not. 
even though it quite literally said that on the box, it was like, it will give you, give them to you immediately. Do I have to build a blacksmith? Is that, is that the rules? Is that what we're, are, th are these arbitrary rules that we're not putting in the, uh, in, in the description again? Is this like the classic case of, oh yeah, Drongo, the juicy legacy double crossbow bolt. It's totally the same damage, bro. Don't worry. Trust me. It's not, it's not, it's like, it's like a quarter of the damage, a quarter of the effective damage, probably like even less than that, like an eighth of the effective damage against armored units. Not worth, don't, don't, it's a trap. It's a trap. Don't do it. Longbow numbers starting to build here. Faye, just a couple longbows back at home. Very aware of what her opponent is up to. Has yet to scout out the stable. Doesn't see the archery range either. So doesn't really know exactly what internet angel is up to. Could be going castle age. Could be going second TC. Probably not going second TC. We'll spot the gold and we'll see that there's nobody on gold and immediately Faye's going to be like, all right, it's, it's got it's to be Castle Age. So he's the military wing and, and it's probably, th that, that's that got to be Castle Age, right? Like I'm looking at that and I'm like, that's got to be Castle Age. There's no two ways about it. This has got to be Castle Age. It's just not happening. Blacksmith, other side of the map now. Let's check in. I want to spot these villagers out. We can see that the units are starting to come out now for Internet Angel. Men at Arms looking to do a little bit of work here. Going to cause a slight little bit of idle time. That's about it. Horsemen should be able to clean it up if Internet Angel wants to reveal it. Otherwise, the Town Center is perfectly fine at doing that job also. Towards the front, though, the outpost. It is revealed. And have a look at this. Have we got that? There it is. Plus one coming through for everything. Look at that. Oh my lord, that's actually not a bad idea. As long as you can win this early fight, which I'm sure you can because you've got that extra little bit of damage, a little bit of armor. Horseman staying alive, doing the five. Scout coming through as well. Keep in mind, that's also going to be get, picking up double damage right there, the scout. Horseman does eventually go down. And the archer numbers are lacking. Seven minutes into the game, a distinct lack of units coming out from Internet Angel. Get it together, Internet Angel. A lot of food in the bank, not a whole lot of... Patwang in the bank. I don't know what Patwang is, but Pizzazz. I think I was going for Pizzazz. Not a whole lot of patat, Pizzazz. Like, there's a lack of units out here, and, I, and that's not what I like to see. I like to see lots of units early on. Wheelbarrow coming through for Faye, building the economy behind. Already got that double broad axe through. Take a look at that. So we're well on our way to a, a good glowing economy. Expect next upgrade to probably be Horticulture, and then after that, probably plus one ranged attack, though we could always mix things up a little bit. I know Faye's always up for that. Let's check in on that north side, though, and see how Internet Angel's doing as the double archery range has come in. Outpost going down almost certainly means Castle Age is imminent. So we do need to be aware of that. And remember that the AU bids, once they get to Castle Age, are in a very good spot. There's so many things that are going for the AU bids once they reach Castle Age. But have a look at this. The numbers are starting to build here for Faye. Keep in mind, she is fighting up against an opponent with thick armor and heavy bows. I'm not talking about the headset. Let's just say that much. I'm talking about the ones you carry on your back. Actually, do you carry the bow on your back? I don't think you do. I mean, you probably do if you're a bit like Robin Hood. I imagine his bow is on his back. But it's mainly the arrows that are on your back, isn't it? When you think about it, right? Like, you're probably carrying it in your arms because you want to be on that quick draw. You just want to be straight away. But speaking of straight away, have a look at this. Longbows, quick draw and out. Not going to be able to take out that archer because you know why? They've got that extra armor. And because of the extra armor, it means the archers survive a little bit longer, which means they get a little bit more damage onto the spears, which means the spearmen, they're dying faster, so they're not able to take down the horsemen in time, which means the fight is still going the way of the English. Just when you thought maybe this was going to be the breakthrough that Ayubid's needed to crack that 57% win rate, Internet Angel says, just kidding. It's not actually. Mad respect, though, Internet Angel. I, I like that you're out here freestyling, just, you know, throwing out Master Smiths. Why not? It was probably the least clicked. Actually, was it the least clicked? Let's have a look. No, you know what? This is kind of interesting. The least clicked House of Wisdom. Definitely not military, the first military wing. Definitely not culture wing advancement. Definitely not trade wing bazaar. Definitely not logistics. We've seen Artebegs before. I've seen economic wing growth. But I would be lying if I said that we have seen economic winning industry used before. I don't think I've ever seen this, which is kind of wild because in Age of Empires 3, this this age up here is overpowered. Like we, we have the same age up in Age of Empires 3. Uh, it's called the Quartermaster for all you Age of Empires 3 enjoys. God, how, you know what? Can I just say how good was Age of Empires 3 back in the day? And I'll be honest, I, I'm not going to go back to it. So all of you Age of Empires 3 frogs out there, don't, don't even bother asking for it. It's not going to happen. Um, it's, it's just, it's too old now. It's too old. It's too dusty. I got, I got the new shiny Age of Empires 4, but wasn't Age of Empires 3. That, that was, that was a different beast. All right, Archer numbers still building here, but you can see he's on the way to Castle Age. 
Still yet to commit 100%, but I'm curious to see whether he's going to be thinking about moving into a potential fast age up. Could look to reduce that cost down a bit. Men at Arms will be coming out. And remember that you want to try and hit that Castle Age before the Men at Arms numbers build. Faye's still quite a way away. Quite a way. Quite a way away. Just quite a distance away from getting uh, into that longbow mass. Because remember, you don't want to go into Men at Arms until you've got the longbow mass. Normally, you want to hit about 20 to 25 longbows. Maybe even up to 30 longbows before that Men at Arms spam really starts kicking in the Feudal Age. But by then, hopefully, Internet Angel will be Castle Age. And indeed, he will. The House of Wisdom is now on the way to advancement. The Culture Wing advancement is through. So that's going to be a little bit faster on the age up, a little bit less resources as well. Mainly the food is what you're saving on there and a slight bit from the gold as well. Uh, but it's it's uh, it's lovely to have all of those things tied together and have a look at this. Speaking of tying things together, the battering ram coming down. Do we see a really quick mango just as the defense? I think we probably could. I mean, the, the main thing you got to be careful of are those spears. Once they do get in close, it's going to be difficult to deal with them. And you don't really have a response to them at the moment. I mean, obviously you've got archers, but still, it's like you, you kind of want you know, like a gulam or something in front just to deal with it, or your own spears even. But now, going to have to leave that front position. A little bit of repair onto the mining camp. Why not? Why not? Fey, with that horticulture through. Plus one ranged attack. Plus one ranged armor. But hey, look at that. Her longbows. They didn't have melee armor or melee attack, do they? Actually, they might have melee attack. Let's, let's uh, quickly check. They don't have melee attack. Look at that. Master Smith's coming in strong. And speaking of melee attack, have a look at this. You wouldn't be able to do that without melee attack, would you? Exactly. Drongo, take that and eat it. Take that and smoke it in your pipe, Drongo. Pipes. Isn't that what they used to have in the old days? Remember? They'd be like... Yes, old boy. Come on in. Be with the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I uh, I mean, you, you guys know I like Shane Gillis. He, he's uh, he's got some really good comedy. He he talks about how uh, white folk used to speak like that back in the old days. <laughs> oh gosh, that's a funny bit. I tell you what, so many of his bits are just hilarious. They're, they're, it, it's like every single one. I I feel is, it just makes me have that real chest laugh. Is it chest or it's it's more of like a gut laugh, isn't it? It's just like yeah, it 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 almost hurts a little bit. Uh, he's, he's a good comedian. Check him out if you haven't already. Shane Gillis. G-I-L-L-I-S. He's, uh, he's very, very funny. Anyway, attacks on the north side. Fate looking to try and push in towards Internet Angel. Calls a little bit of idle time here. And that's definitely going to be the case. But it looks like the Battering Ram may not have been paying attention. And unfortunately takes a little bit of unnecessary damage. Down to less than half health now. Overwhelmed by the amount of units that are here. Internet Angel not yet moving into Camel Lancers just yet. Which kind of makes sense because you're not really against any cavalry, but it is nice to have those armored units out. But I'd like to see Gulams on the field here. Gulams would make a lot of sense. Now, keep in mind, with Master Smiths, while you get all of the Blacksmith upgrades for free at that level, you don't get your next upgrades for free. So you will have to pay the full amount for your Tier 2 and your Tier 3 ones. But remember that with Master Smiths, that does scale into the late game in that if you go for, like, a, a Castle Age Master Smiths, then you get your Tier 2s for free. I guess that's how that works. I don't know what happens to your tier ones if you if you have tier ones at the time. Maybe it doesn't give you them to you until you've got them. I don't know. Anyway, we'll have to we'll have to save that for another day because the archers have got their veterancy, and with that, a little bit of extra damage, a little bit of extra health, and of course, a much better trade up against these longbows. He can really just look to spam archers now against Faye, and this will be a wonderful position for Internet Angel. The battering ram's pretty close to coming up, but he is denying it for the moment. The longbow number is still pretty thick, but have a look at that spearman number. It has begun to dwindle significantly. Only the single spearman out on this front, at least the, that I can see it as it has gone down. And Internet Angel able to clean this up. Beautiful timing. Horsemen still yet to receive their veterancy upgrade, but Faye now thinking about going to Castle Age. Has stopped production of units, or at least has stopped rallying them out across the map. And now finds herself in a little bit of an odd position. What do I do here, Drongo, she asks. Do I go for the White Tower and guarantee that I don't die? Or do I go for the King's Palace and guarantee that my late game is going to be... What are you doing down here, Internet Angel? Faye's even walling you out. Walling you in. Uh, depends how you look at it, really. Depends on the perspective. Are you, are you a walled in kind of guy or are you a walled out kind of guy? Depends. Depends. For me, I'm a, I'm a walled in. Like, Faye's keeping you safe down there. Thanks, Faye. Safe from her. <laughs> She's got a new pet. Anyway, archers continue to move around the south side of this map. Looking to try and hit the gold. The outpost is on the right side of the gold vein. 
Hand in. About to happen. Needs 15 gold. Oh, she needs it so bad. 15 gold and she can click the button. It looks like she'll get it. She's got enough there. So manages to hold it for the moment. The outpost helping out together with the longbows. Meaning that she's able to keep it together just for a little bit longer. And wh what is that second landmark? It's got to be the King's Palace. There's no way it's not. Okay, good. It is the King's Palace. That's the right call. The alternative to the King's Palace here would have been just going White Tower and going for um, going for a second TC. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. The problem is you need to have gold secure and gold is not secure right now. Gold is anything but secure. And where would you even put the White Palace if you're going to do it? I mean, you'd probably want to do it towards the front, but then you really expose yourself to a whole raft of problems right there. You know, even if you throw it down with 20 villagers, you still might get interrupted. And then, yeah, it just, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Bit of a score lead starting to build now for Internet Angel. 25% higher score. I guess I could just say 400 score up now. So 20% 20, 20 up. Not bad. Military wing, culture wing so far. Still trade wing and the eco wing for grabs. Up for grabs. Dervishes now. Starting to come out and it looks like relics will be the focus here initially. Second dervish is out as well. One relic already picked up. Two on the way shortly. Towards the north side of the map, Fang knows exactly what is up. Just keep in mind that you're up against very fast camels, those dervish. Camel lances are out now. Camel uneasy is applied by the dervish. But looking to pick it up. Wallalol immediately. The longbows don't care. And they're just able to snipe out that dervish before you can even say Wallalol. And it was a, it was a long Wallalol. It was a long. It, it, it was quite a long. It, it took a... It took a a fair while well for that that guy to go down, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, look, at the end of the day, you a goal accomplished, you know, mission accomplished, clear. Monastery in the back. Faye looking to keep the relics nice and safe. Definitely just taking her time at the moment. We got ourselves a look at this. A little bit of a campfire coming out. Faye quite literally setting up camp on the relic. I do like to see it. Takes one hit and it'll be down. And arms coming out here as well. Just just keeping an eye on the relic. It's just me and you, Mister Relic. Campfire. How long does the campfire stay for? D does it just stay forever? Increases the sight range of nearby units by 30%. There you go. Another dervish coming out. You know what that means? Another dervish coming out. Oh no, the campfire! Rest in peace, little guy. Look at him go. Ooh, you hear that? That's a mangonel. I heard that. It's either a mangonel or an elephant. And uh, I don't think they've got access to elephants at this stage of the game. But longbows, longbows, longbows. Looking for it. That's going to be three. Three rounds and that's it. It does go down. But at what cost? The men-at-arms probably going to get taken out here. Archers chasing after the longbows, doing the right thing. And look at this, the men- <gasps> The men-at-arms! They might take down the Manchadik! I think he- I'm not sure if it was cancelled at the last second. I think Internet Angel did, uh, unfortunately, cancel it for Faye. But that was a pretty nice attempt right there at sniping 600 resources. That would have been very, very fancy. So far, speaking of sniping resources, 13, almost 1,300, 1,200 taken off this gold vein on the south side. But remember, you're playing against the English. And, you know, Faye doesn't really need that gold anyway. What are, what are we worried about? She's got access in the Imperial Age to enclosures. Everybody's favorite technology for the English. Definitely my favorite technology. Actually, that or arrow volley. Because arrow volley is pretty sick. <sighs> Don't make me decide like this. Don't make me decide. Fine, arrow volley. No, enclosures, enclosures, enclosures. Enclo you just have so much first. <gasps> what about the trebuchet upgrade, Drongo? Ooh. S what's it called? I think it's called like smashing. You know Nigel Thornberry? It's just like smashing trebuchet. Because they're English and he's English. It's got to be. How good is Nigel Thornberry? Can I, can I, are there any Nigel Thornberry fans in the chat? Let me know, let me know. How That honker, that nose that he had. My Lord, dude, wasn't that? It was just, I, I aspire to one day have a nose like that. I, I'm pretty sure the nose is like the ears, where it just keeps growing the the older that you live. Like my pop before he passed, big, big ears. Really big ears. Big nose as well, now that I think about it. Maybe it does keep growing. I'm going to have to Google that after. I'm probably going to forget it though, because I got dinner soon. Anyway, second TC up for Internet Angel. Going to be looking to match that second TC of Faye. Monastery. It's one relic so far. Second relic. No one to be seen because it's been sniped away by her opponent. It's going to be four relics for the Aobids. And at this stage of the game, the Aobids are feeling pretty comfy. I'm going to be honest. Sniping away the gold. Ooh. This is, this is awkward. This is, this is going to be awkward. Sprinkle in placement. Luckily, it's not a Manganel in placement. There's going to be a Sprinkle in placement. But immediately, Faye's just like, WTF? Like, what? Why? How? 
in, in my 640 games on Gorge, I've found zero sheep, and I've also found zero enemy villagers on this gold vein. Faye, her number just went up slightly. She's now found, what, six villagers, seven villagers on that gold vein? That's kind of wild. Not something that you see every day. And I, I love the fact that Internet Angel's just sticking it. Internet Angel's like, yeah, so what? I'm just going to take the gold. I don't care if I lose the villagers. I'm going to take the gold. Gulam number starting to build here. Have a look at this. Faye, I'm starting to worry a little bit. You know, starting to move down to the south. And it looks like in the base, we've got a hut and spearman just doing spearman things. Giving a little bit of a stabby stab. Ghoul arms together. Will the archers able to chase down the crossbow and the men at arms? Unit numbers do continue to build on that front. And it's a slow build up here for Faye. But you gotta worry. You gotta worry. Things not looking good at the moment. Internet Angel definitely taking a strong, solid lead in this mid game. 20 minutes through. Let's do a little bit of a comparison. Compare the pair. Find out exactly where they're up to. Oh, oh no. Oh, I pressed the button. Oh no, please, please don't tell me. Hold on. If I press if I press the button again, oh gosh, I accidentally pressed a button I thought was going to do something else. It's going to reverse the names. Okay, you guys want to see a bug? Uh, once it happens, I can't reverse it and I'm, I apologize. It's going to flip the name of Internet Angel and reverse it and it's going to do the same for Faye. Check this out. Wait, I didn't do it. It didn't do it. They fixed the bug. I don't, I don't actually know what happened there, but I'm not going to press that button again. I'm sorry. Let's compare the pair. Let's see where these two are at right now with regard to income. You guys just went on a wild ride of a roller coaster, that's for sure. Uh, 1,900, 3,000, 20, or 3,200. Compare that over to the other side. And geez, Louise, have a look at this. 2.2K. How is Faye so far ahead? It's only nine villages, he says. Oh, it might look like only nine villages to you, my friend, but it is a lot more. I guess there's a couple idle. But now the sandwich! Oh, the English sandwich! Yeah, I hate to see it. Normally you get these for breakfast, but it looks like today Internet Angel's going to be finding out the hard way that you get it for more than just breakfast. It looks like we're getting lunch, dinner, and tea. Oh, speaking of tea, I'll have one of those because it's an English breakfast. Look at that damage. Unfortunately, only takes out a handful of units. It's uh, just as underwhelming as an English breakfast. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I, I love English breakfast, man. Oh, gosh. Anyway. Anyway, we move on. We move, we move on. Sorry to all the English... The English folk are just sitting there right now like, I just don't get it. Why, why you say that? Why you say that, daddy? <laughs> I love that they're watching it with their dad like to explain like their dads are sitting there on the couch like, oh, don't worry, son. Don't worry. He's just a silly Australian. It's <laughs> Sorry, this... Hey, we're getting cursed very quickly. Armor cladding's through for the Englishman. Watch out, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of extra armor to help out against these archers means they're going to be doing barely any damage. Have a look at that. Nine damage against eight ranged armor. That means they're doing one. They're not even scratching the surface right here. Sacred Sight's getting taken behind the scenes. Sprinkle and placements help to hold a little bit longer, but now the gold is starting to fold, and Internet Angel's going to have to head back to the drawing board as, unfortunately, he's got one gold here. He's got a big gold in the north. What? I'm not even worried and neither should he be but he has worked out that these villages are quite literally being locked in the walls are going up on every single side here and it's only a matter of time until Feyre finds a strategy to find these villages and find them for what they have done I tried my best that, that was the only way I could end it all keeps going up this is an interesting keep I don't know if I'm all about this keep or not this, it doesn't really achieve much. Like, sure, it, it's nice. It protects the big gold. But it's not really a big gold. It's it's kind of... It's a small gold with a little bit extra. I guess it will kill the villagers. Maybe that's, like, the saving grace of the keep. Because otherwise... Oh, yeah. Keep's online now. Villagers do get found out. Oh, no, not the biting infantry. He's going to go down. There's... You know, one thing about this game is there hasn't really been a big direct fight. Like, every, every time there's been a, a kind of fight, it's always been a little bit scrappy, and someone's gotten away with a, a good amount of units. Like, even down here, when we had our English sandwich or English breakfast, it was kind of underwhelming. Oh, my God. Siri, someone's got a good amount of units down here when we had our sandwich for breakfast. I'm not sure I understand, says Siri. Well, thank you, Siri. I wouldn't expect you to understand. I, 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 I've got an Apple Watch recently, and I find that sometimes it just... Dude, <laughs> now my Siri on my phone's talking at me. Stop it, you guys. I don't want to hear from you. I've just set off a whole bunch. I'm so sorry. Oh, I just realized. I'm so sorry. All the English people are like, no, not now, Siri. <laughs> the name that shall not be said uh, other than that and... Oh, do I do it? Hey, Alexa, play Despacito. <laughs> 
Oh, we are so cursed right now. Outpost going down on the backside. Big push on the front. Men at arms together with the crossbow is going to be dishing out plenty of damage. It's infantry only today, baby, by the looks of it. No lancers that are going to be coming out. But look at the amount of units that are on the field for Faye. She's taking fights all over the map and she's winning them all over the map. The consequence of going for this heavy archer ball strategy is that the men at arms are always going to be able to overwhelm you. It is a waiting game for that, that armor cladding and it finally comes through. And Faye turns the tide of the battle pretty convincingly, or at least the tide of the game, because it wasn't looking that good. But no, 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 no! Big hit! down to the center of mass on those crossbows. She's not even paying attention. She's shooting the back and that's going to be a second one to follow up. Third one might even finish it off and you know what? That many crossbows on the ground. I'll consider it finished off. Boom, baby. Another one. Another one. We got DJ Khaled in the game, boys and girls. There is a... Well... There's a lot of energy right now. We can say that. This has been an energetic cast. We'll, if, if there's anything that's going on right now, it's energy. We've got energy. we got ourselves... If, if it isn't... Well, well, well. If it isn't you two gathering on the same resource node together again. I'm having flashbacks. What are we going to see? What are we going to see? Who's going to realize first? Or is Internet Angel just going to be like, Yeah, I'm on your stone. What are you going to do about it? And Faye's like... Oh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. It's just, it's going to take time. We got under attack on that east side. Men at arms will go down. A lot of crossbows starting to get mixed in. Another massive military. But now, unfortunately, no, Faye's gone early. You need to wait until you're standing right on top of them and then you can take them out. Meanwhile, behind a battering ram coming up the rear over on that east side. Plenty of units get taken out. And now we've got more. What, what did the market do? Faye is all over Internet Angel right now. This is absolutely intense play coming out from Faye. Faye, you've had four Springholds just sitting in the front of your base for at least the last 10 minutes. Maybe not four, but you've definitely had Springholds. We'll say Springholds, you know, with an, apost an asterisk next to it. Like, Drongo's unsure about how many Springholds were sitting in the front of the base at what time. But we can definitely say there have been Springholds. I've seen these guys out here for a while, and they have just been chilling. They've been, they've been with John Cena, been in the back of the limousine, they've had the ice cream out, and it's sad to see. But they finally get to see the light of day as the Springholds come to play up against three man manjaniques, by the way. Wow. Okay, we're, we're going to have ourselves some wonderfully timed Springled timing right here for you. All right, the numbers are looking good. Oh, Faye, no. Don't show. Faye shows the Springholds. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. It's one of those things where it's like, you, you just don't tell your opponent you've got the counter to what they've got. Because now you've got an opportunity. Internet Angel should go back and make Springholds, but he's, he's not going to do it. He wants to take the fight. Internet Angel, you're up against Springholds. Don't do it, son. Mangoes off the back rope. Not going to find too much as the first one's gone down. The second one decides to take a walk. And the third one, he's just going to tap out. There it is. He had the opportunity to go back and draw a counter to what Faye had done, but unfortunately didn't find it. Uh, even if he did, I don't think he would have had the numbers. Faye, incredible today in the game as the English. Go check her out. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can watch her live over on Twitch. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.